Shoemaker Levy 9, the cometary debris chain. And this is an artist's depiction of its approach to Jupiter. 21 pieces fell into the Jovian atmosphere and created these gigantic plumes that were larger than the Earth itself. And I think that was a point in the history of our study of the denizens of the deep, as I like to call them, or a lot of, I think, scientists, astronomers and others, even geologists across the spectrum begin to take the idea of cosmic impact more seriously. Because yeah, nobody expected this, but since we've only seen it, this happen actually in real time once, that's not enough to make any kind of statistical conclusion from as to frequency or periodicity of such an event. We know that Tunguska event, I like to use this comparison between Meteor Crater and Tunguska because Meteor Crater leaves a scar, it's estimated to be around 50,000 years old. So 50,000 years ago, an iron asteroid slammed into the, the deserts of, if it, if it was, probably was not a desert then. I think if I recall, it was not a desert at that time. But in any case, it slams into the earth. It leaves a big crater that we can come by thousands of years later, see it in the ground, and here's the mute evidence of this catastrophic event. Well, Tunguska, if it had happened a century earlier, we would not have known about it, simply because, you know, the story of, of Kulik and his intrepid efforts to track down the zone of destruction caused by the Tunguska event. Between 1927 and 1928, when he was finally able to access the site. And uh, as a result of that, which already, you know, he was able to see the blowdown of the trees, you know, as far as the eye could see. But even now it's rapidly regenerating. And in another century or two, it'll be very difficult, except to the trained eye, that there had ever been something like that that happened.